European Union wants to achieve climate and environmental goals through green and digital technology. The climate emergency caused by burning fossil fuels requires action. Action! Including an increase in the use of renewable energy. But is it only about replacing fossil fuels with renewable energy without examining the whole story? Let's take a look. An electric car. According to the International Energy Agency, an average car requires 66 kilograms of graphite, 53 kilograms of copper, 25 kilograms of magnesium, 40 kilograms of nickel, and a cocktail of other ores such as cobalt, lithium, and rare earth elements. All these minerals need to be extracted, which requires fossil fuels. They need to be processed, which requires fossil fuels. And they need to be transported, which also requires fossil fuels. And how is the electricity used to power these clean, green, and pure vehicles generated? Well, it depends on the electricity mix of each country, but mostly fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, fossil fuels. Think about this fact, a Tesla, one of the most luxurious electric vehicles in the market from the brilliant and innovative Elon Musk, <laughs> generates more carbon emissions in its lifespan than a simple internal combustion engine car. So that means that internal combustion engine cars are better. Absolutely not. But if we want to fight the climate crisis, Firstly, we need to enforce more public transport, then shared mobility, and as a last resort, private cars. Solar panels, windmills, chips, computers, they all need specific minerals which need to be extracted, generating carbon emissions. Most of the minerals come from Latin America and Africa, and most of the rare earth metals from China. As we are proposing an energy transition based on clean technologies, we are adding a massive demand on raw materials over existing ones. Extractivism is the removal of huge quantities of raw or natural materials from the entrails of the earth that causes disorder to its territories and the ecosystems. It is skyrocketing year by year, and the so-called clean technologies have a great share of responsibility because they are intensive on mineral extractivism. Extractivism is polluting the air, the water, the soil, and destroying biodiversity. It is causing human rights violations, such as the expulsion of millions of people from their land and the dispossession of indigenous communities. These people are forced to migrate or work under harsh and dangerous conditions. But the European Union doesn't seem to take into consideration all these elements. They go on investing more and more money towards green and digital technologies through EU funds like the Next Generation EU, Invest EU, Repower EU, and the Innovation Fund. Hashtag make sustainability fun again. Going back to the electric car, in the case of Spain, the Strategic Private-Public Partnership Project received 4,295 million euros to promote electric cars, which mainly go to big corporations like SAM. So what should we do? First, we need to overcome the myth that technology is the solution. Technology ought to have a role, but it cannot be the only answer to political problems. Secondly, we need to dismantle neo-colonial power relations and unequal exchange and transform north-south relations to make it sustainable, fair, and democratic. Thirdly, we need to expand urban mining, recycling, and the right to repair. Most important of all, it is necessary to embrace the degrowth in the use of materials and walk towards a fair global economy that takes into account the planetary boundaries.